Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dog. What's up, dog? Shout out to Mighty Ma. What's going on, man? Yo, yo, this once again, man, another Father's Day episode, baby. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, man. Everybody celebrating Father's Day. Everybody that's raising kids. Anybody that considers themselves a male, raising kids, a father or father figure. It could be an uncle. could be a grandfather. Any of that, man. Any of that. Yo, and this is the perfect... <laughs> I'm telling my thing went off. I'm going to say, oh, Lord, it went off. But um, this is the perfect album for this. This album is structured around the premise of Father's Day in saluting black men or men in general uh, because they don't get their flowers while while they're here. Breathe it, you know what I'm saying? Give us the give us give the men their flowers, man. Give all the men out there their flowers. I'm giving all the men out there their flowers. All the fathers, all the father figures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, ladies, yeah, I know y'all get y'all get the whole year, man. Let, let's get a day, let's get a weekend, let's get something. Let's get a little something, something, something. You know what I'm saying? But Sky Zoo, this dude is a nasty MC. Dope MC. Been around for quite some time. Putting in some great, great projects recently. Um, he's been working with, uh, he had an album with um, Pete Rock. Woo! Last year. Which is Retropolitan. Is it Retropolitan? I don't want to get it wrong. It's Retropolitan, I, I believe. I checked my notes. But um, that was fire, man. Fire. Fire. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I think it was Retropolitan. But anyway, so... And then this year, he put out, um, was it Blue Note? Um, he put out the Blue Note. He did that like, what, in January, February, March? April, January, February, March, April, April. The f yeah, he put the fourth month. He did put that out in April. Jazz, jazzy type, you know, um, hip hop vibe, you know what I mean? With that smooth hip hop jazz. Y'all remember Gangsta? And then when, like, Gangstar had a little break, him and Premier had a break, Guru, the rapper, went and did, like, a couple of Jasmine Taz albums. And he did Jasmine. And, yo, at first I was like, he's about to do jazz or rap? This is going to be crazy. This is going to be corny. But, like, Guru made it work with the voice, Guru's voice, and just the uh, the band of jazz, the instruments of the jazz uh, made it so funky, man. It was, it was just a dope collaboration, man, hip-hop and jazz. And uh, this is no exception, man. Well, first, the key note, the blue note, what did I just say? The um, the blue note, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? Probably one of the, um, everyone's going to probably put it up there as one of the top um, hip-hop, jazz albums type of um, feels. You know what I'm saying? That's a, It's a great album. Go check that out when y'all get a chance. Uh, but this one, too, this one just has a, a premise of, like I said, the Father's Day theme. It's, uh, it's entirely themed. It was, it's, it was like... Kind of like a, a, a you know, some, some people, some people make albums by mistake, or they think it's a mistake, or it, it's basically was their vision the whole time, um, or their path the whole time. So I guess last year in August he did a track, and he, you know, you know, he looked, he looked up Ill Mind, you know, you know, it's Ill Mind, the producer, he was working with Ill Mind for a minute, and he looked, he, he hit him up and said, Yo, I need this another beat that's kind of jazzy, just kind of like my old, the, you know, the, you know, the, the, you know, this other, just other album that I'm working on. So he probably was showing him that, that album, the Blue Note, because it ain't come out yet. But then he was like, right, I'm going to continue with that. And he and he did some type of father. He was feeling like, a, you know, praising the fathers and the black men, you know. And uh, so he wrote, he wrote um, what track did he write? He wrote a song for fathers. And that's, that was his first single. So he wrote a song for fathers. And one of my favorite tracks on here. One of my rotation tracks. You know what I'm saying? My other rotation track is Turning 10. That's dope too, man. Uh, where he talks about... Um, when the when the kid turns ten, well, especially the son, when the son turns ten, he should go to the father, man. At least spend more time with the father. If, if y'all separated, you know what I'm saying. If y'all together, of course, you know what I'm saying. Y'all, you know, y'all a family, and you know. But still, they're saying that father and son should like do more things together around that age, nine, ten. That's when he's kind of becoming a man. He's getting the hairs down there, down. So he's, you know, and stuff like that. And he's having questions. You know what I mean? Like girls and all that other stuff. So um, it takes a man. To raise a son, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he got this whole premise of uh, Boys of the Hood. You got to listen to it. it. Got the skits of Boys in the Hood in the beginning of the song. Got, like, you know, he drops them off. And then when the, um, Angela, um, man, why don't I think of blanking out? When 
Lars Fishburne and Angela um, talk, um, and, and uh, you know he's in there. He don't even get out the car, and he's like, you know, what I'm saying disrespect. He says, still in the car. Oh no, he gets out. No, he gets out. They talk. I forgot they in the lawn. He gets out, starts talking to Angela. Um, that's it. Lord of mercy, and um, and they, you know talking about the sun and talking about that stuff. So it's, it's dope. And then like the whole premise in the skits is basically you know a boys in the hood and basically talking about this whole theme of the album is about father and son relationships, and um. And it can relate to father, daughter. I got a daughter, you know. That baby right there. So see, that's a, one of our pictures when we was at um, Six Flags. We go to Six Flags every summer, you know, but that's another story. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so, like, you know, it could relate to a, a daughter, too. It could relate to any kid that I think that, uh, you know, um, but for this particular album, I think he's talking about the father-son relationship and how that needs to get stronger in the community and stronger in the America and stronger in the world, which I, I, I really agree with him on that. Uh, we have lost the dynamic of fatherhood. Remember, um, be a father to your child. Do -do -do -do. Ed OG and the Bulldog. Be a father to your child. Do -do -do -do. That was my shit. Yo, 1991, yo. That came out in 1991. And this movie, Boys and Hood, came out in 1991. So I'm thinking, yo, come on, son. Was that a coincidence? Mr. Zoo, Sky Zoo, was that a coincidence? Let's talk about these tracks first, man. You got seven tracks on here. It's about, um... About 25 minutes long, 24 minutes, 39 seconds. Like I said, I love the album covers. It's, you know, it's kind of, it's got the um, Lawrence Fishbird and, um, and uh, what's his name? And I was to say radio, <laughs> radio. I think about radio, I can't think of his name. <laughs> ah, yo, I'm about to freaking Blake out. No, I'm about to call him radio, nigga. It's, uh, let me think of the actors. It's um, Cuban Gooding Jr. I <laughs> call him radio. When radio when um <laughs> damn, I said it again. <laughs> Y'all bugging up. When Cuba Gooden Jr. and Lawrence Fishburne, they had that scene and they was talking, that's like the album cover's dope. And then uh just the premise to it, man, you know, with the skits and stuff, and then what you know, um Sky Zoo's talking about about um fatherhood and son and how important and key it is. And it's a, you know, you, you know, you gotta have that relationship. Um it's kinda like it's it's funny because like I, I remember like when my daughter was young, 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 like a baby. And I was like, I was thinking like, and when like, when me and my baby mother did separate, like, you know what I'm saying? Mutually be separated, mutually was cool. And we remained parents. But like, I was always thinking like, yo, like she lived with her mother. She lived with her mother at the time. And that's usually the case like in Boston. Cause like in Boston, I don't want to talk about our rules and regulations. But anyway, she lived with her mother and I would visit, whatever, I'll go get her. And we still was cool, everybody was cool. But I always said to myself, yo, when she gets older, like 10, 11, can I, can I like, can she come live with me? And we always had a verbal contract. And I always said, the reason I want, reason behind that, because around that age, you know, I can like develop her for, to, to college. You know what I'm saying? Because my, ment my mentality was towards, hey, you're going to college, you're going to get educated, you're going to do that. So I was, I wanted to share like the duties. I wanted to like push her more when she was in my house. So it, it was Long story, but anyway, I actually ended up getting her and everything. But anyway, but kind of, she's in college. She's doing great. Uh, shout out to my baby. Sincere. I love you. Daddy loves you. This is a, hey, this is a I love you um thing. This is Father's Day, man. You better yo, buy my shirt, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? But um, let's talk about these these um songs, though. Um, So seven seven tracks. Uh, Like I said, a short 24, 25 minutes. Uh, he sets it off. Memory serves it. Serves me, I'm sorry. Memory serves me, produced by First Official. Uh, great track. He's he's really going in. It's about four and a half minutes. He's really going in. I'm thinking like the song's still going, but it's dope. Like dope beat, and he and you know he's flowing. And I'm like, you know, how, like you do somebody do three verses. You're like, all right, cool. You think it's about the end now? So you go, another verse, like it was something like that. It was like one of those things. But he's still he's spitting. He's killing it. And then um, number two is uh, at least at least I got one. Uh, produced by um, Mark Infinite. It's you know um, spelled with the N. And then uh, F in it, like that, if Mark Infinite. So anyway, so at least I got one. Is he, he takes one of the quotes from um, the scene where they're in the classroom, and he's, and he's teaching all the kids about, hey, we all from Africa. And then his friend goes, oh, you're African, um, booty scratcher. Then everybody, but I'm back in the day, that was funny. You know, everybody was, booty scratcher, and that was supposed to be funny, man. Um, but yeah, the whole class laughs. He's like, oh, fuck you up. They were like, about the fight. And then at the end, he goes, He's talking about his father, and he's like, at least I, he's like, he goes, at least I got one, yo, yo, <laughs> and he carries that into the next song, it's dope. Um, 
And then it kind of starts off slow, and then it hits and it goes back up. It's kind of like one of my uh, one of the, my favorite tracks too. Uh, and then number three, uh, turning ten. I told you this is one of my rotation joints, man. This is when he talks about, and this is um, produced by uh, Mark Infinite too. And he's talking about how, like I said, he, you know, around ten, they, you know, I think around that time they're saying the the boy should spend more time with the father. Basically, you know, the you know the girl should spend more time with the mother, of course. And that's just theory. That just makes sense, right? Um, common sense, right? So, you know, stuff like that. So, and then uh, number four, Duffel Bag Weekends. Only one feature featuring um, Austin Martin. I think Ashton Martin. The way he spells it, Ashton Martin. Maybe he's not trying to get sued by the company. Yet. He gets sued by that company, he's done. But uh, produced by, um, I think it's Tumi? T-U-A-M-I-E? Tumi? 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 Something like that. But um, this is the guy, uh, Aston Martin, sings the hook and sings on it. It's dope. It's dope track. I love, I love, I like the track. Uh, it reminds me of, this is what, number four? What did I say number four? This is kind of like, well, actually number three is more when it gets jazzy because the first two tracks is like, it's kind of like bop and kind of like hip hop a little bit. A little, maybe a little jazz influence in first one or two, but not really. But then like number three starts getting jazzed from three to seven. It's like more jazzy instruments in your face type of stuff, like more of a, a jazzmatage type of feel. And you like it's more of a like like if you're in one of those clubs, like an underground smoky club chilling, and you you know this is you know the old school movies like the freaking you know what I mean, black and white, and everybody got the hat and the suits on, and they smoking, everybody smoking, even the cat, cat in the corner, rat smoking, everybody smoking in the club, man. And they you know jazz, they're playing jazz, and you know it's like and the motherfuckers just like. Man, man, what's going on? See, it's like one of those. It's like this a vibe. This is what the album is, yo. I'm trying to give you the vibe of the album, dog. So don't hate me, dog. Just give me the vibe, dog. At least the vibe I got. So, and then like so, four, three, four. That's when it starts getting jazzy and stuff like that. Um, then number five, Eyes Wide Shut, produced by Mark Infinite again. Yo, Mark Infinite did some. He did about one, two, three, three cuts. Three cuts out of out of the seven. Yo, you, you might just do a, a, a album with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, do an album with him, man. Yo, that's, he's dope. I, I never heard him, but Mark Infinite, yo. Shout out to Mark Infinite. Shout out to all the producers on here, man. Yo, cause I, I didn't find no bad track. All the tracks was dope. I played the whole album, you know what I'm saying? I kept playing the album over and over and over again. I've been playing it just over and over again, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I got to rate this joint. This, this this album is dope, though. Like, it's just like a good feel, like, and it just fits the the, the mood, it fits the environment. You know, it kind of, like, takes a, a little bit away from the um Black Power movement. But at the same time, it speaks to the black men. You know what I mean? It's kind of like it just focuses on a, a part of the black movement and says, hey, black men, let me check you real quick. Let me put you in this corner, check you, talk real quick, do a little, you know what I'm saying, one-on-one -on -one group with all the with all, all the men and black men, mostly black men, but, you know, men, period. Talk to them, you know what I'm saying, and say, okay, boom, now let's get back to the movement with the world. You know what I'm saying? So just like a side note, he just took, them, took, took all the men to the side and played this album for them, so... It's dope, I, and I give it to him. And then number, um, so it goes, then six, a song for fathers. I told you that was a single. One of my other tracks is Rotation, real dope track. One of the ones like that influenced the whole album. This one track influenced the whole album. Look, check the blog. Got more details in my blog, man. You got, you got to read the blog, man. Come on, come on, baby. Reading's fundamental, baby. Reading's fundamental. So, <clears throat> um, so then check the blog. Got more details. And uh, so that's that song number six was like more of a hip hop, jazz club feel. You know what I'm saying? I got that. I got that feel for that one. You know what I'm saying? And then number seven, it was like a Poji slam. It was like he was just like like the beat was playing at that same club, and that dude was in the back going the drum cymbal, and then he was just like black fathers and black mothers, and like you just speaking about. You know what I mean? It was dope. It was dope the way he, he wasn't doing it like that, but it's dope the way he do it. it was like a Poetry Slayer. I don't know do poetry, man. I write it sometimes, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I never did like I should do a lot. I should try to try it one day. But um, so you know, that was that track. But um, yeah, man, this album is incredible, man. Like the beast, the production, um, uh, the boys in the hood theme, just the theme period of fatherhood and shouting out the fatherhood and fathers and men in general, especially black men, which is needed up right now. Black men, please listen to this album. Please, please, please listen to the album, please listen to this artist. Start listening to the albums. Some of the albums I be listening to, man. A lot of it is not just thug music. It's like music that um, has messages. These, this, most of this music I listen to has messages, and that's why I listen to it. Dope. All right. So, listen to this shit, man. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? So this album, 
You know what I'm saying? It, it's needed right now. It's, 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 it's needed by black people. It's needed by the world. Um, it feels like a it feels revolutionary, like I said earlier. But it's it's really it's more targeted to, to the black man on the man period. Like I said, Happy Father's Day, Happy Father's Day weekend, Happy Father's Day, Happy Man's Day, every day, man. Men, get out there and be a man, man. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and get income. You know what I'm saying? Have that regular job, get some passive income, get back that respect, get the get the respect of being a man of the house. You don't have to be make the most money. You just gotta be making good money, be confident, be happy. Within yourself, and then you back, you back, and you back on ground. You back with the crown on. You know what I'm saying? Your queen's gonna be like, yo, look at my king right there. Look at my king right there. And then you be like, oh, look at my queen right there. You know what I'm saying? All booed up. You know that booed up love that we wanna swing on and be saw in public, yo. But y'all gotta get, we gotta get booed back up. Black people, we gotta get booed back up, man. Love your queen. Love your king. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this album's dope, man. It's like, like I said, it's a jazzy production. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it feels like a smoky club. Uh, um, Gangstar, man. Go check out old school Gangstar and, and um, go check out Jasmine Taz Guru when he went solo. Did a couple um, Jasmine Taz albums with the, with the jazz on it. Real funky. 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 I wish I could play something like doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll be playing something funky right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Milestone, this album was named after his son. He got a son named Miles, so I'm, it's, I'm, it's dedicated this album to his son, which is, um, of course, self explanatory. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm back, man. I feel good. The albums are coming back. This was a busy weekend for a lot of singles, a lot of Fight the Power singles. Go check out, um, go check out, uh, N not NWA, Lord, Public Enemy's new single. They got a single that's dope. Um, who else got a new um, good song? Um, Her got a new single, like a Fight the Power type of song. Um, sorry, I can't remember all the songs right now, but I'm just shouting out the artist. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Anderson Park got a, a, a good. Good uh, track out there, it's dope. And um, yeah, man, check out Joe. There's some good albums coming out, man. Some albums coming out, man. There's some artists coming out. It's gonna be some music coming out for the next six months. So check, yo, stay tuned, stay. Yo, I'm telling you, don't go nowhere though. Stay close, subscribe, man, share. Put that bell on, man. I'm telling you, put that bell on, man. I'll be spitting out these videos for free, baby, all day. And if you can support, Support the gear. You know what I'm saying? Support the mask, baby. Support all the masks. You know what I'm saying? We got the masks. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. We got all the masks and stuff like that. You know what I mean? This is my favorite right here. Monkey nuts. And not because it's, I'm biased because it's my company, but you know, I got kept it. You know, I, I know the design stuff. And yo, shout out to um another designer that did Let Me Breathe. I do, I'm a, I'm a designer too, man. So hit me up, man. If you like something, man, support me. If you can't, man, for real, man, I, you know. I love you guys, and I love hip hop, baby. Sky is you, baby. Do it again, man. I don't, yo, I don't keep putting the jazz albums. I love them, man. Subscribe, ring the bell, watch some more videos, uh, 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 and support me, baby. Boston, Bean Town.